What is up, Steamians, DTubers, DLivers, everybody out there in Crypto Nation? It's your boy Crypto Evo here. And Crypto Stevo. Hey! Just leaving the gym, trying to stay swole. The market is red as red gets. And what so was my face? <laughs> so are our faces after a long, hard workout. But what today's question is, is at what price would Bitcoin need to get to literally scare the GBs out of you? <laughs> is that price, has that already hit? Was that at 15,000? Were you somebody that bought in at 19,000 and the price went down to now testing under 6,000? Are you scared? Well, I'll tell you, Evan said 600, so you know he's in it for the long run. <laughs> yeah, 600. Then at that point, I started to get a little worried. But because I'm in it for the long term, I think instead of looking at what the USD value is of a cryptocurrency, instead we should be focusing on how many of those cryptocurrencies you own. So when the price goes down, this is just a better time, a better ratio to buy more Bitcoin, Steam, Ethereum, whatever the coin is that you want, this is the time to buy it and this is the time to load up on those positions. So I know everybody wants to always see the price moon up, but sometimes we need these scary corrections. One, to get great buying opportunities and two, scare out some of the weak handed people because what would worry me is if the prices were going down and nothing was being done, like as far as through the industry, but the industry is growing every day. There's more and more people downloading wallets. There's more and more nodes being created on Bitcoin. So the- Yeah, tell them how you feel about those regulations too. A lot of people look at it as a bad thing, but we think that it's gonna help, you know, strengthen the community. Yeah, I think the regulations, short term might scare people because you got to remember a lot of people that got into this uh industry might have been trying to make a quick quick dollar they might have been somebody that's trying to do some fraudulent stuff so all those people are selling getting out it's not 2017 anymore where it was easy to make some money and you were easy to like manipulate people this is 2018 and it's a whole different ball game so with even the little bit of regulation, it's just scaring people. People don't like uncertainty. That goes down with all asset classes, stocks, real estate. People don't like uncertainty. Once everything, once the iron wrinkles, or once the iron um, pans out all your wrinkles, then the market goes up. So people just don't like that uncertainty. And I think with regulation leads a little more uncertainty. But me, I personally like it because you're gonna get rid of these fraudulent ICOs, these fraudulent coins, there won't be any BitConnect or anything like that. So that's a good thing for the market. But all I gotta say is buy on the dip, buy when you can and just allocate those coins in the long run. That, so That next run, you don't wanna miss it, it's gonna come fast. Yep, and that's, that's what I, I really think, look, when our retail, our retail bull market, we had about a thousand dollars a day increase. I think once institutions get on board and they're slowly starting to dip their toes into it, that thousand dollars a day is going to be dwarfed by five thousand dollars a day. And it's going to put in the biggest that FUD is going to turn into FOMO. And people are going to be have that fear of missing out, not just retail investors, but institutions are going to have fear, uh, are going to feel that FOMO and they're gonna be pressing that buy button. And that's where we're going from the Honda to the Heli. Right. Hell yeah. All right, Steamians, DTubers, YouTubers. This is Crypto, Evo, and hey, Steve-O. Steve we're fucking out of here. Peace. Peace.